How's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Stormworks today. We're going to be jumping in and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install engines and uh, all the electronics and functions you need to get your boat running uh, when you start the game. So we are in the uh, beginner island. I'm just going to go over to our workbench here. And I'm gonna, just going to load up a starter boat that I have, um, which I use for starting off in my um, worlds. Basically all we have here is this four engines, and I'll be showing you um, step by step how to install these, um, and how they work. So yeah. Okay, so I've gone and stripped the boat down to its bare bones here, just the um, the hull um, of the boat, and we have propellers on the back here, which lead up for an enclosed pipe into here, and the power is going to be represented uh, in orange here. So we're just going to use um, one engine, just a regular normal engine you get at the start of the game, and as you can see, it has six outputs or inputs depending um, we have a coolant out, a coolant in, a fuel, an exhaust, an air and a power and I'll show you what all of these um, do and how you need to set them up we'll start with coolant so we'll use um, a light blue for this and there's a few ways you can actually do this um, you can use just regular water from um, the ocean uh, using ports and pumps but at the start of the game you don't really have a lot of um, items so it's easier to use a heat radiator here and depending on how much your engine is working and how hot it's going to get um, the, the, that, um, it's going to affect how many uh, radiators you're going to need so what we can do is you can just simply link it up um, it doesn't really matter which way you cool it in and cool it out um, goes into the radiator um, but obviously it will if you're doing more complicated systems so you want the coolant out to come out and then fresh water to come in um, if that makes sense so now we'll do the exhaust, turn off our mirror here we'll do that in a uh, dark grey and this is pretty simple um, just exhaust comes for a pipe and we'll put it just straight up here um, let's get that nice and level with the boats and we're using enclosed pipe and so no, none of the water gets in um, and stops it from floating and you can use a fluid port or a fluid exhaust um, I'll just use an exhaust Next up, we've got the fuel. Uh, we use a red. Now, fuel again, you can do it in many ways. You can make a custom fuel tank, which is you just use a fluid spawner. Um, or at the start of the game, you can use fluid tanks. It's three different sizes. We only have the two right now, so we'll use the medium because uh, it's the biggest. So we'll rotate that up, put a couple in just so we have a lot of fuel time um, but this engine doesn't use up a whole lot of fuel but on on the uh, other design with all the four engines it uses up a lot of fuel so and make sure depending on what engine you're using we're using a diesel so these are set of diesel which is fine um, doesn't really matter but you obviously change it to jet fuel if you're using a jet and whatnot. Um, so that's cool. Air is basically the same as exhaust, um, except you're going to need a port um, to come and be uh, exposed to the open. Um, so air can come into the engine and uh, help it run. Now we're going to set up the power. Power is pretty simple, um, but people do get confused with uh, 
gearboxes. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to bring it down here. Keep it all compact. Should be great. Okay, so right here we're going to put in a clutch. And what that will do is when it's when we give it a one signal power coming from here will be able to come through here if not it'll just run in the clutch and it won't do anything beyond the clutch so that's okay and we'll put in a gearbox and depending on which way the arrows are going um, is dependent on whether it's high torque or low torque and speed so if the arrow is facing towards the engine um, you're going to be getting high speed, low torque out of it, so power A is coming out. But if it, if we, um, the arrows were coming towards the propeller, that would be high, sp uh, low speed, high torque um, gearing. And we'll just set these gearboxes up. So our ratio one, I'm going to keep one to one. So when it's uh, the gearbox is not active, um, it's a one to one, so nothing's really happening. But we want it to be in reverse. Um, when we do select the reverse button and enable these gearboxes so we'll do 1 to minus 1 um, and because we've got the clutch in we can not stall out the engine um, immediately when we do it because uh, you, if you think about a car you would put in the clutch so your um, engine doesn't rip your gearbox to shreds um, obviously can't happen in this game but it will stall out your engine and you'll have to restart um, the engine up again so that's cool but we are gonna need some power generation so we're just gonna put in um, two generators just small generators that should give us enough power for the small little boat and we'll obviously add our batteries in just a couple that should do Okay, now we're going to battery just everything up to each other, should be fine. Okay, so everything's batteried up. Now, now that we've got everything um, wire piped up, uh, we've got power in orange, fuel in red, air in light grey, exhaust in dark grey, and heat in blue. We are now going to seal all this off. Hopefully I've done it right. And I haven't. I will. We'll just cover that up. It's fine. <laughs> now we're going to have to get our pilot seat so we can control it. And because I added rudders down here. Um, these rudders are facing the same way. So positive is going this way. Positive is going this way. We don't want them uh, turning in on each other. And so we're not going to turn. And these just work on a 1 to minus 1 um, on those axes there. So that's fine. We'll just wire that up straight to our AD key on the pilot seat. Pretty simple. And we'll just go in here and label that uh, steering. And it's on reset, which is what we want. And now to start the engine, um, we're going to come down here. And we're going to put bind that to our hotkey, and that can be engine start. And we're going to put that as a push as well, so we have to hold it down um, and give it the throttle. And so the engine uh, has that engine on off, and it also has the throttle. And what we'll do is you can use a throttle lever, but just for this, uh, we'll keep it simple. And just put that on the WS and we'll leave it as um, reset uh, actually no, we'll put it as uh, sticky so we don't have to keep holding it down okay so now we're gonna put in a throttle lever just for the clutch um, and we'll also put down a toggle button for um, 
the gearbox. So we'll put that reverse gear and we'll put this as clutch pressure. And this is a zero to one value, which is perfect for these. So when it's full down, these clutches are full in. And this toggle button is just going to switch us from one to one to one to minus one. Pretty simple there. And I'll see all these outputs, um, temperature, rotations, fuel tank contents, battery charge, generators, all of these. You can obviously put down um, dials or displays and just simply link them up um, to your dashboard or wherever you put them. And that will work just fine. So, go spawn this in, uh, see if it works. Come down. So, we have our engine start. And we'll give it a bit of throttle while we're doing that. So you'll notice that the propellers aren't turning right now. That's because the clutch is not engaged. So we'll do that. It's not working. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Oh. I'll see where I've gone wrong. So right here, um, made a little mistake here, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll just correct that, no worries. It was just, uh, this came in here and it went up. Uh, we'll do that on the other side. It's all about trial and error. If you don't make a mistake, so uh, can you learn? Okay. Let's try that again. So, engine start, give it a little bit of juice, put in our clutch. And the engine slows down um, and our rudders are turning nicely which is what we like and as you can see we're not on full throttle so we'll give it full wham and we'll give it full clutch and now we're pretty fast this is with four propellers um, so the engine is suffering a little bit with torque However, if you, that's why you have more engines um, with the combined power. And so we'll take away our clutch and test the reverse. So the engine is just freely spinning now. So we can safely put in our reverse gear, enable our clutch again, and hopefully the propellers we stalled our engine out. Okay, I don't really anticipate the amount of torque this has. As you can see, we are now moving backwards, which is lovely. Gradually increase the clutch, um, just because this engine is quite weak. So I recommend you either put one to two propellers on the back. Um, this was obviously meant for four, so. And obviously our exhaust is just random places, our air is just in random places. Um, obviously you just put that wherever you like, pipe it up. Um, same thing and that will work just fine and so yeah hopefully that um, gave you a little bit of idea on how to uh, power up your boats in Stormworks uh, if you did enjoy and you found it useful be sure to subscribe um, and uh, yeah have fun <laughs>